In the Pathology Museum at Leeds University, parts of the body have been preserved for study. Candida is trying to find out more about the effects smoking has on the lungs. She's here to talk to medical student Caroline Henderson. Well, smoking has quite a lot of effects on the lungs because that's the first place the smoke goes when you breathe it in. You can see in these lungs that are from somebody who hasn't smoked, they're all nice and pale and healthy. And here you can see some of the air passages and that's how the air gets into your lungs. Whereas this is some, from somebody who's smoked a lot and there's lots of black bits from the charcoal and the tar that they've breathed in. And here you can see a tumour and that's cancer caused by smoking. What's the latest information about passive smoking? Well, it's always been thought that passive smoking is probably bad for your health, but a study has shown that people that live with smokers are more likely to have heart and lung problems, even if they don't smoke themselves. This recent study estimates that passive smoking increases a non-smoker's risk of lung cancer by more than 25%. TV presenter Roy Castle believed that passive smoking was the cause of his cancer.